Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Kelly. I'm so glad that you made it here today. Today I am going to be doing my two week update. Yes, I did take a week off from recording because oh my gosh, it is a lot y'all. Recording, editing, you name it. It could be a little overwhelming, but we're gonna, we gonna do this thing, okay? We're gonna do this thing. So uh, I'm gonna be using my notes on my iPhone today. So if I do look down, that is why, because I got some notes jotted down. But I'm so happy that you're here and your girl is happy. I'm feeling good. Um, life has been good, y'all. Life has been good. This journey has been good. It has had its challenges. I'm not gonna even lie. It's like Monday through Friday, I do great. And then Saturday and Sunday, it's like, what? The weekends are so hard because you have activities that you're doing and you're going out, you're meeting people. I'm with my fiance, so hey, you know, it can get a little crazy. So the first thing I want to talk about today is going to be what I ate um, for the last two weeks. So I'm going to pop over to the kitchen so I can show you all just a few things. And um, yeah, so meet me there. Okay, y'all, welcome back to my kitchen. Hey, that's where I spend a lot of time, okay? <laughs> no, I try not to. <laughs> All right, so for breakfast, I kept it pretty consistent uh, for these last two weeks. I'm still working on this canister of the GNC Lean Shake with Slim Vans. It is the Mocha Espresso flavor. It does have, like, um, 200 milligrams of caffeine. So I've been drinking this in the morning. I don't drink my coffee in the morning because the caffeine, the mocha taste, all of that does everything for me. So I um, make this with almond milk, about six cubes of ice, blend it well. That's my breakfast. This holds me until about 10.30 in the morning. Um, I start work at 7.30. So it lasts me to about 10, 10.30. If I do get hungry in between time, gum, mints, something like that will help you. Also, water. Drinking more water will help you feel full as well. So that's definitely what I like to do is get my 100 ounces of water in per day. Yes, you are going to be going to the bathroom every five seconds. Yes, you are. You are. So yeah, thug life. Um, For lunch, I have been doing my healthy choice meal. This is my favorite one. It's the beef chimichurri. So it has the beef tips, the chimichurri sauce, red peppers, potatoes. It just gives me everything that I feel like I'm missing in my life. Um, <laughs> so this is good. What I like to do is look at the calories. So that's 220 calories. What I also like to look at is the amount of sodium. So this has 550 milligrams of sodium so this is really good um i really try to stick to as close as 300 as possible so when you're reading these labels although it may be low in calories it could be very very high in sodium and you kind of want to stay away from that because we know that bloats you up and it's not too good if you're eating it too consistently throughout the day so the closer to 300 milligrams is the best okay also, um, for lunch, I have been drinking this Lipton Diet Green Tea. It's the mixed berry flavor. This is really, really good. Um, it also does have caffeine in it as well, so I don't know if you're looking for something caffeinated or not, but this is definitely a nice pick-me-up in the afternoon um, after I eat lunch. Also, I drink a lot of herbal tea as well if I just need something warm to drink or just something to drink because sometimes when you're sitting there at work, you can get bored and you just want to eat, 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 and it's like, no. So what can we do? That's a lower risk, okay? Also, what I like to have, I like to create a little bento box for my desk. So I'll do like a fruit, a protein, and like some cheese or something. So... I'll get like these little Kobe back, Kobe Jack cube cheese. I'm sorry. Can't talk y'all today. It's Monday. I'll do these turkey pepperonis and grapes. Okay. 
So I love having this at my desk because when I do get hungry, if I feel like I just need a nibble on something, it is so handy to go ahead and have something that um, is low calorie, nutritious, has great protein right there at your fingertips because we all know it's easy to walk to that vending machine. It's just easy to grab something else that you don't need. Okay? We all know. Um, also, what I like to do is eat saltine crackers with peanut butter. If I do feel like I'm getting hungry, I just need a snack. I'm telling you, when you work out, you are hungry, okay? Like, that's all I have been thinking about is food. And I'm like, I can't stop. I can't stop. But the more you work out, the more you lose, the more you burn, you have to fuel your body back. So I'll do these saltine crackers with peanut butter or almond butter. And of course I have bananas available at my desk. If I'm just dying for something salty, if I am, then I'll get these wavy chips. I know this may not be the best, but this prevents me from grabbing those french fries grabbing something else i don't know but the saltiness from this just helps me so i'll put it in a little zip lock bag that way it's portion controlled i'm not bringing the whole bag to work and doing it so i'll grab a zip lock bag and that way when it's over it's over that's it that's all you get for today um next for dinner last week I did these old-fashioned oats so I just made oatmeal in the microwave with water or with the almond milk and I did cinnamon a little bit of salt um, a little bit of maple syrup now I do the sugar-free maple syrup and some raisins yes so mix all that put it in the microwave and then I'll cut up some apples put that on top of the oatmeal and that was my dinner. Um, this week, I'm going to be doing air fried salmon, collard greens. So I got my collard greens right here, y'all. Yes, my collard greens and sweet potatoes. So I'm just kicking it up a little bit this week with dinner because I was noticing that I was getting hungry as it was coming time to bed because I may work out 5.30, 6.30, then eat. And then I'm up until 9, 9.30, and my stomach started growling. So I'm like, okay, so I'm going to rev it up a little more. Um, also, you know, for these diet drinks, you know, on Weight Watchers, they were a zero point. So, I mean, if you can find some nice diet solutions, some nice sparkling water solutions, or no sugar solutions, it would be very, very beneficial for you. Now, this is my purple stuff. I absolutely love the purple stuff. So, it is from Kroger, and it's the light grape um, packet, flavor packet. So, what you do is just mix this packet you know fill this up with water yes i do reuse my bottles okay so i just fill this up with water put one of the packets in shake it up this is a sugar-free drink i absolutely love this so y'all if y'all haven't tried the purple stuff i'm gonna need you to go to k roger and cop this okay i promise you that you will absolutely love this flavor i i can't get enough nobody nobody can so just make sure that you're prepared. That's the biggest thing. Just make sure that you have something readily and available. Whatever downtime you have at home, just make sure you use that so you can pack your things accordingly. Pre-plan. Think about it. Like, okay, if I don't have enough now, what can I do to make sure I have enough? Because you have to prepare in order um, to be successful. And if you want to lose weight, you have to have your tools available so you can fulfill your goals here okay so it is a struggle it is not easy every day is not easy sometimes you don't want the things that you prepare but just think about your ending goal that's the bigger picture here what do you want so we know it will be very rewarding for you to get to your goal so just turn on your blinders honey tunnel vision tunnel vision you got this all right so i'm gonna step out of the kitchen and we'll continue our talk. Bye. I don't know why I like to do that, but I don't know. It's becoming a thing. See you in the living room. <laughs>
All right, y'all. So for the last two weeks with my workouts, the first week I did double workouts. So I worked out at 4.30 a.m. and I also worked out in the evening after I got off of work. So in the morning, I did more of the strength training, something that included um, some dumbbells so I can tone. And then in the evening, I did more cardio. So I did running or cycling. So now I am an official member of the Peloton Club, y'all. So y'all can see my new beauty right here. Yes, y'all. She's pretty. Yes, so I'm so excited to have my new Peloton, y'all. So if you are a fellow Peloton owner, please add your girl. My name is Honey Angel 17 all right? And I'll put that on the screen, but please make sure that you add me on that. I would greatly appreciate it. I need some friends on there, you know? Need some encouragement, okay? <laughs> but yeah, so I am happy with what I've been doing. Like I said, the last week, I did double workouts in the previous week. I only did singles, so I only worked out in the evening. It was so hard getting up in the morning because I had did that the previous week. So I was like, you know what? I'm not getting up. My body just said no. My body just said absolutely not. <laughs> but nonetheless, I worked out. I worked out Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Saturday was optional, but my definite rest days were Wednesday and Sunday, okay? So Sunday is when I do my meal prep. So I don't, you know, pressure myself to working out. If I get to it, I do. If I don't, I don't. But my meal prepping, I already consider a workout, you know? So I just like to chill in that aspect. All right, so I did weigh myself this week. So, like I said, this is a two-week update. So, this is from March 13th to yesterday, which was March 27th. March 13th, I weighed 172.6. Yesterday, when I weighed myself on 327, I weighed 173.1. So, yes, I did gain half a pound, y'all, which was probably the clothes that I had on me. So whatever but what I do like is that I was able to at least maintain my weight for the last two weeks yes I did gain a half a pound but that could have been in muscle so who's to say that that is fat so I'm happy that I was able to hold my weight of what I lost so all in all I've lost a total of 3.4 pounds you all know this is a journey it takes time honey so it just is what it is, but I'm happy. Nonetheless, I am happy. We did a lot of partying over these last two weekends. There were so many events going on. So I am happy that I am able to maintain that weight. You know, Monday through Friday, I did my best. Saturday and Sunday, I still try to do my best. <laughs> but I didn't always succeed, but that was okay. I worked hard during the week. So I could treat myself in the weekend. So that's important. Give yourself a break. Give yourself an opportunity to just live, okay? We don't want to be rushing and reaching towards these goals so much that we just miss out on life. So if you buckle down for some consistent days, then it's okay to give yourself a little room. You just got to get back on. So everything in moderation. Just remember that. All right, everyone, so I just want to go over a little bit of skincare that I've been doing. I don't know what it's been, but lately my skin has just been breaking out and I cannot, for the life of me, understand why. I have been fighting with acne and rosacea since the beginning of time, it seems like. So it's been many years that I've been going through this, but I'm really trying to figure out my skin I'm just really trying to piece it all together. I know a lot of my acne is diet based. So if I'm eating and overindulging in a lot of sweets or dairy, my face just does not agree with it. So yes, I have suffered a lot of breakouts, but she is coming back together, honey. Okay, cause whew, that just made me feel so insecure about myself. Like I just feel like a monster sometimes and I hate 
feeling like that and I know I'm not you know and I know it's normal I know it happens to far more a lot of people you know so that you know can relate with me so I am trying to listen to my skin listen to my body get it all together um, so for a cleanser I've been using the CeraVe gentle foaming cleanser so this has been a really really good baseline and I also have a BPO 5% wash. So what I do, I use the BPO about two to three times a week. I'll rotate it like every other day, but I'll always wash with a gentle cleanser, whether it's morning or afternoon. So I really like the CeraVe foaming facial cleanser. And I've been using a retinoid. So a retinoid helps um, even out your skin tone, helps um help with the hyperpigmentation so from the acne scarring it leaves dark spots on your skin sometimes so it's going to help clear that out and even up my skin tone so this is adapalene and benzoyl peroxide gel it's a 3% and a 2.5% mix so this is in comparison to Epiduo Forte. All right, so if you've suffered with acne, you, I'm sure you've heard of Epiduo Forte. So this is the generic of it. So I'm using this every other night. And then I have a great moisturizer from Skin Script that I got from my esthetician. It is the Akai Berry Moisturizer with Squalene and Aloe. I absolutely love this moisturizer. It is so hydrating. Okay, so when you are using these products, it's very important to also wear sunscreen as well. So my esthetician recommended this sunscreen. It's called Super Goop Play. She said this is the only thing that she puts on her face. And honey, I agree because after using this, I ain't going back to nothing else. So this is the 50 SPF. It, I mean, you only need a little bit and it spreads and it just gives you this nice glow. Absolutely love this. So yeah, get y'all some super goop, y'all. Get the play. Get the play. So yeah, um, it has been a struggle, but I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. This is, this is normal. It happens. I'm just going to do what I have to do to address it. Listen to my body and go from there. Now, I also have been taking prenatal vitamins as well. Let me grab those real quick. I've been doing these Nature Bounty Healthy Mom prenatal vitamins. So I like any type of pill to be a soft gel. That's how I'm able to swallow it easily. So I looked up these and they are the soft gel. This is 180 counts. These smell so bad. They smell so bad, like fish. And I like fish. I love fish. But this fish, so I do what I got to do and swallow it, but it is not the most enjoyable, okay? So just make sure that you're taking some good vitamins, good multivitamin. Um, I just want to make sure that everything is being taken care of, the outside and the inside. Also, I do like to treat myself to a nice mask. So I use the Gleeman Vitamin C Clay Mask. If you can see that, I love it, I love it. So this helps with hyperpigmentation as well. So they brand that your face, you could just be bare face. So it's gonna even your skin tone, it's gonna give you a nice healthy glow. So I just like to do this on Sunday to give myself a little treat. My skin feels very hydrated and I can also tell the hyperpigmentation definitely fades the more and more you use this product. So it doesn't cost for me to break out. So um, it has become a staple part of my routine. And again, this is called Gleeman. All right, so I just want to show you a little body shot angles. Okay, so we're still working on her. Yeah, so I just want to get rid of a little bit of back fat here. And of course, 
the midsection is definitely my problem area. I love these compressed pants here. They just suck you in. But yeah, so a little bit of underarm fat here, you know. But I mean, overall, I love how I look, but I know I can stand to lose a few pounds. So during this journey, something that I've been doing is practicing self-confidence, um, just working on loving myself more, being more confident. It is <laughs> very nerve-wracking to get on this camera sometimes and to film and to record, but I just want to have that courage because I know I can do it. I know I can have my channel. I know I can be successful at this. So. It's just going to take a little bit of courage and consistency to build my dream. So that is what I am immersing myself in. So in order to get those good nuggets for the soul, I have been doing a lot of more reading. This is something that is a hit or miss with me, <laughs> but I definitely do practice reading more. So I'm visiting my local library, seeing what good reads there are to find. Um, I also like research books that, you know, for topics that I'm looking for to help me build confidence or build my business. And then I'm just utilizing the library, free resources, so I can get them audiobook, ebook, or a physical book. So a book that I'm reading is The Power of Positive Thinking. This is by Norman Vincent Piao. And I probably said that last name wrong, but it is the power of positive thinking. So I'm just going to leave you with this today because I know this journey can be very taunting. It can be very overwhelming and sometimes you just don't feel like you have the energy to press on. But just know that you can do this and through all things, you know, well, through God, all things are possible. So you just have to walk with that and know that and ask him for that strength every day. Lord, please give me the strength. And even if you don't do your best today, try again tomorrow. Like, just don't give up. Every day is not going to be perfect, but just try to make progress every day. Just try. So one thing he said from this book is one of the most powerful concepts, one which is a sure cure for the lack of confidence, is the thought that God is actually with you and helping you. This is one of the simplest teachings in religion, namely that Almighty God will be your companion, will stand by you, help you, and see you through. No other idea is so powerful in developing self-confidence as this simple belief when practiced. To practice it, simply affirm, God is with me, God is helping me. God is guiding me. Spend several minutes each day visualizing his presence. Then practice believing that affirmation. Go about your business on the assumption that what you have just affirmed and visualized is true. Affirm it, visualize it, believe it, and it will actualize itself. All right, so... I love this, you know, when you have a vision, pray about it, seek God about it, just know that he will give you the strength, he will give you the courage, he will give you the confidence, he will give you the tools to make this happen. So I love this, I'm going to be inserting some more quotes in the videos to come because we all need this encouragement y'all. This is, this can be a very hard journey. It can be, but it's very rewarding. So I just want you all to believe in yourself and know that you can do it. So if you also have an encouraging word for everyone on here, please feel free to drop them down in the comments below. I appreciate you all so much for being here with me today. Uh, I will start doing my updates every two weeks. That's pretty um, easy for me and works more for my schedule. So, y'all will see me back in two weeks in April, y'all. I can't believe it's about to be April in 2022. This is just crazy. So, just know that I'm rooting for you all. You can do this. You got this one step at a time, one day at a time. Love you all. Take care. Until next time.